Hello, and welcome to the Walter Case Educator Excellence Award Program. My name is Daniel Dozark, and I'm proud to call Walter Case my grandpa. Growing up in Houston, I loved spending time with my grandpa Walter. He taught me chess, brought me to the club to work out, and took me on my first trip to New York City, where I now live with my wife Jennifer and my dog Moose. He was an incredibly energetic and vivacious grandparent, eager to be involved in all aspects of my life. I have fond memories of my ninth birthday party, where my friends and I played a few games of soccer at a nearby park. My grandpa insisted on playing, and he outran all of us on the field. He further touched my life through his presence and support at my piano recitals and competitions. As I got older, Grandpa Walter had a great impact on me as a life coach and mentor. This inspired me to be a dedicated student and taught me to persevere no matter how difficult the obstacle. I will always remember how proud and tearful he was at both my bar mitzvah and high school graduation. The first time I met Walter, like everyone else who met him, I was struck by his dashing good looks and his charm, but I hadn't yet experienced one of his presentations. I've been a docent giving tours at Holocaust Museum Houston for over 27 years, and on this day about 20 years ago, Walter was scheduled to speak to my assigned group of high school students. But by the time I led them to the classroom to listen to Walter, there were plenty of yawns. Once Walter began telling his story, their whole demeanor changed. I wiped my own tears away as he spoke, and when I glanced around the room, I saw how many of these kids were crying as well. Walter spoke of these experiences because he was determined to touch our lives and inspire us to stand up for others and be better human beings. This is the impact Walter had on every student and teacher. Though Walter lost his childhood and many of his teenage years, he lived his life after the war with passion. If you didn't know Walter, you missed something. If you did, I hope his memory will always inspire you as it does me. Hello, I am Tivoli Pipkins, the at risk counselor at Major Elementary. When asked to sit in interviews for our next school counselor, I knew I needed to consider a partner that exudes passion, organization, and vision. While others focused on academic growth, she recognized character development was essential if we were to get there. She made it her mission to guide our campus to become no place for hate. Our school vision is to produce a safe community of equity, leadership, and academic excellence. This year's recipient truly helped produce a safe community of equity. The students know they can count on her support when it comes to bullying, bigotry, and biases. I sincerely believe our students bought into the principles of No Place for Hate because she's a perfect example. It's an honor and privilege to work beside someone who believes in the power of children and their voices. She brings joy to our campus floating through the hallways, leaving glitter and glow wherever she goes. Hello, my name is Malia Smith. I enjoy No Place for Hate because it lets us know everybody should be treated fairly and everybody should be included. Our recipient taught us at Major Elementary the importance of respecting everybody's differences. I am proud to announce this year's Walter Case Educator Excellence Award recipient, Mrs. Leno. Thank you, Malia and Ms. Pipkins for expressing your feelings about No Place for Hate. Thank you also for expressing your feelings about how passionate I am about ensuring our scholars at Major Elementary are treated with respect and fairness. No Place for Hate is special to me because every scholar should be included, respected for their differences, and not bullied. As a coordinator, my most rewarding experiences have been watching my students' reactions when interacting with different cultures. I want my scholars to embrace and learn new perspectives of the world. I feel in an ideal world, hate would not exist. It is our job to make this ideal place a reality. ADL, thank you so much for awarding me the Walter Case Educator Excellence Award. I really appreciate you considering me for this and I will continue to forge through to help make this world a better place. I'm excited to be a part of the ADL's recognition of Mr. Batung Bacall for the Walter Case Educator Excellence Award. He more than deserves this award for his work that he's done with no place for hate on our campus. 
He goes above and beyond to ensure that our students feel included, that our students are recognized for the diversity that we do on this campus, and that they are part of our community. We are excited for him being recognized for this award, and we are also excited to be a No Place for Hate campus. Hi, my name is Jada. I am the No Place for Hate committee chair. I appreciate No Place for Hate because it provides a platform for students to discuss their perspectives on difficult issues pertaining to contemporary society. Two of my favorite No Place for Hate activities were the Pieces Against Prejudice Project and the Clay Sculpture. Both of these activities allowed students to use art to express inclusivity. Our No Place for Hate counselor is excellent. He is always ready to offer a helping hand to those around him, especially during times of difficulty. He takes the time to get to know you in order to provide the best assistance possible. His generosity and optimism fill the entire school with life. This year's Walter Case Educator Excellent Recipient is Mr. B. Thank you, Jada and Ms. Williams, for your wonderful words. I truly appreciate both of you. I'm both honored and humbled by the ADL, No Place for Hate, as well as Mr. Walter Case. When I was first asked many years ago to take on sponsorship of the No Place for Hate program, I felt extremely overwhelmed and thought, how am I supposed to get a bunch of teenagers, adults, and community members to willingly discuss tough, sensitive, emotionally driven topics and get them to learn. I remember dedicating copious amounts of time going back and forth, racking my brain on how I could facilitate buying with this program. I had established my coalition members and on the day of the meeting, I showed up with my notebook full of ideas and initiatives ready to sell the program. I started my pitch. I told them that we would be facilitating a program to educate against hate, discrimination and bullying and bam, that was it. I didn't even need to use my notebook. I didn't have to sell them on anything. You see, the students who had all volunteered for this program were excited about the prospect of leading, educating, and promoting diversity and equality within our school. They were excited to have a platform and a means to facilitate acceptance, appreciation, and growth within their generation. We appreciate ADL and all of the resources and continued support of our school community. As we move forward, we can see how the key principles of ADL reflect upon our school community's core values. We at Guy Sconzo Early College High School are truly humbled and honored to be recognized for this award, and we are excited to continue on with the wonderful partnership that we have developed with ADL. I've had the opportunity to work with Shalandra Moore, our counselor here at Goodman Ace Elementary for the last four years. I'm grateful to have the opportunity to work with her on a daily basis, and not just during the work day, but even after school. Occasionally, we've been called upon to provide services for parents. Uh, we've had to uh, go to students' homes, provide food, clothing, shelter, and anything that our community needs. And so it's my privilege as her principal to continue to work with her to make Goodman a great school and Aldine a great school district. I'm thankful, I'm grateful, and I'm truly blessed to have the opportunity to work with Shalandra Moore. Greetings. My name is Lauren Boston, and I'm a third grade student at Goodman Ace Elementary. I feel that the No Place for Hate program is good because it teaches us how to have respect for others. Students should not feel sad about coming to school because people bother them or talk about them. Students are supposed to be joyful with happiness every day when they come to school. One of my favorite activities was the You Matters Day. We got a chance to fill each other's buckets with lots of positive activities. We created positive affirmations and made our classmates and our teachers feel good about themselves. At Goodman, we do not allow bullying and we stand by our school's motto. We are stronger together and together we are Goodman. This year's Walter Case Educator and Award recipient is my counselor, Shalandra Moore. Thank you, student member Lauren Boston and Principal LaDon Ward for the wonderful comments. It is with great honor that I am receiving this prestigious award. This is my 18th year in education and 11th year as an elementary counselor, all years in Aldine ISD. 
I have been the only counselor in Auburn to implement the No Place for Hate program for the past nine years at two campuses. The program stood out to me because it teaches the scholars how to create unity as well as a respectful learning community. As a young girl, I did not have a program at school that taught us how to be a respectful learning community. I was teased as well as bullied and often did not attend school. I became a counselor because I wanted to be the counselor that I needed when I was a little girl. Scholars are faced with many obstacles in life. And if I can inspire them to become a catalyst for change, then I am pushing them in the right direction. In the words of the late great educator, Dr. Rita Pearson, every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connections and insists they become the best they can possibly be. In accepting this award, I would like to thank the scholars, teachers, and my principal for believing in the No Place for Hate program and putting in the hard work to make it successful on our campus. Also, thank you ADL for this award and being the brains behind the program that allow educators to create a respectful and safe learning environment. Grandpa's work had an indelible impact on the Houston community. His profound phrase of hate destroys, love builds, and never forget has been a guiding principle for me throughout my life. I frequently think about the message he shared of go home, hug your parents, and tell them I love you. A phrase that took on extra meaning when Grandpa said it to me because he was talking about our very own family. We're so proud of your accomplishments and honored that your legacy continues to shine through the ADL's Walter Case Educator Excellence Award. I love you, Grandpa.